Hi there, this is Kritesh and welcome to TradeWays. In this video, we are going to discuss 11 key differences between stock market investing and mutual fund investing. But before starting, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. We publish interesting investing videos every week. Now, before we start talking about differences, let's first understand what is the difference between stock investing and mutual fund investing. Stock market investing means directly investing in the stock market. Here you are purchasing companies listed on the stock exchange with an expectation to earn profits when the prices goes up. In addition, here you can also earn through dividends also. On the other hand, a mutual fund is a collective investment that pulls together the money of a large number of investors to purchase a number of securities like stocks, bonds, FDs, real estates, etc. A professional fund manager manages this fund. When you purchase a share in a mutual fund, you have a small stake in all the investment included in that fund. Hence, by owning a mutual fund, the investors participate in the gains and losses of the port fund's portfolio. Now, here are the critical differences that we have between stock market investing and mutual funds based on 11 crucial factors. The first is cost of investing. While investing in mutual funds, you have to pay different charges like expense ratio, load fee that is entry or exit load. For the top mutual funds, the expense ratio can be as high as 2.5 to 3%. Now there are two kinds of funds, mutual funds. First is active funds and second is passive fund that is like index funds. For the active funds, you have to pay a higher expense ratio like 2.5%. This is because the managers are actively managing your fund. On the other hand, if you invest in the index funds, this expense ratio can be lower like say uh, 1 to 1.5%. However, there can also be an entry or exit load. Uh, exit load can be if you sell that stock, if you sell that mutual fund before 365 days, you have to pay some exit load, say 1%. So these are the different expenses in the mutual fund investing. On the other hand, if you want to invest in the stock market, first you have to open your brokerage account. And here you have to pay your account opening charge, which may vary between rupees 300 to 500, depending on your broker. In addition, you have to also pay some annual maintenance charge. This annual maintenance charge can be like rupees 300, 400, 500, and it also varies depending on which mutual fund, depending on which broker you choose. If you are using a discount broker like Zero the Fires, etc., then then the these charges can be lower. On the other hand, if you are using a full service brokers like H SBI is Smart, HDFC Securities, ICICI Direct angel broking etc then these charges may be higher in addition there will be also extra cost during transactions like brokerage stt service charge now that's called gst and stamp duty etc nevertheless if you compare the charges involved in the stock market and mutual fund investing you can find that the cost in direct investing in stocks is still lower compared to mutual funds why this is because managing a mutual fund involves a lot of expenses like management fee, the salary of the managers, employers, administration charges, operational charges, etc. However, for stock market investing, the biggest cost will be most probably the brokerage charge. Second, volatility in investment. Now, when you are directly investing in the stock market, it will be more volatile compare, compared to the mutual fund investing. This is because when you invest in the share market, you generally buy 10 to 15 stocks. On the other hand, the mutual fund consists of a diversified portfolio, let's say stocks, bonds, de fixed deposits, etc. Even in the equity-based mutual funds, they have a very big portfolio like 550 to 100 stocks. And due to this broad diversification, the volatility in the mutual funds is a lot lower compared to that of the shares. Return potential. Stock market investing has a very high return potential. Most of the successful investors in the world and India like Warren Buffett, Rakesh Junjanwala, R.K. Tamani, etc. has built their wealth by investing directly in the stock market. However, this is only the one side of the story. The other side is that a majority of people lose money in the stock market. Although the returns from stock market investing is high, however, the risks are also higher here. On the other hand, most of the good ranked mutual funds have given decent consistent returns to their shareholders. Although the returns are not as high as the stock market investing, however, the returns is good enough to build a huge corpus for an average person for a secured future. 
tax saving if you invest in elss that is equity linked same saving scheme you can enjoy a tax deduction up to rupees 1.5 lakhs under the section 80c of income tax act another benefit of investing in mutual fund is that you do not have to pay tax if the fund sells any stock let's say the fund is to buy consistently buying and selling different stocks but here you are not paying any tax if you are holding that mutual fund you have to only pay the taxes when you will sell that mutual fund <laughs> on the other hand when you sell stock while investing directly in the stock market you have to pay taxes no matter what there are no tax benefits on investing in stock market earlier that is before this budget 2018 there was a profit there was some advantages on the long term capital gain as it was tax free however since this budget in february 2018 they announced a 10% capital gain tax on on the long term profits so if you have a profit above 1 lakh on long term you have to pay a tax of 10% and if you have a profit on the short term that is when you are holding that stocks for less than 1 year you have to pay a tax of 15% monitoring now investing in the stock market requires frequent monitoring this is because stock market investing is a personal thing here no one is going to do this for you and hence you have to monitor your stocks yourself moreover due to the high volatility of the stock market the frequency of monitoring should be higher at least every quarter on the other hand for the mutual fund there are fund managers who take care of the investments and makes the buy and sell decision on your behalf and that's why when you invest in the mutual fund you do not need to monitor your funds consistently or frequently anyways you should watch your fund at least once in a year to find out whether the performance of the fund is in line with that of your goals the next is sip investment sip stands for systematic investment plans mutual fund investments provide provides you an option for systematic investment plan it generally refers to a periodic investment for example an investor can invest a fixed rupees of rupees say rupees 1000 1500 5, or 5000 every month every quarter or every 6 month to purchase some units of the fund further sip helps in automation and brings discipline to the investment strategy so you can set that um, you can set a fixed date like let's, let's say first day of every month that you want to invest a fixed amount let's say 5000 and hence it can be automatically deducted from your saving account and invested in the mutual fund On the other hand there is no option for SIP available on stock market investing however you here you can use an rupee cost averaging approach which is totally a different point however SIP is not available in the stock market investing asset class restriction while investing in the stock market the as uh, the only asset where you can invest is stocks of the company on the other hand for the mutual fund investing you you will get a lot of opportunity to invest in diversified portfolio for example debt funds equity based funds gold funds hybrid funds etc the time required for investing the total time required for directly in investing in the stock market is lot compared to that of the mutual fund this is because a fund manager manages the mutual fund whereas for your own investment you have to manage it yourself for the direct investment in the stock market you have to do all the research here you have to find the best possible stock that can give you the best returns and it requires a lot of time effort and energy ease of investment for investing in the stock market you will need to open your brokerage account with the help of a stock broker now here you need to open your demat and trading account which may take a while to open like 5 uh, to 7 days on the other hand you can start investing in the mutual fund within 10 minutes you do not require a brokerage account to start investing in the mutual fund there are a number of free platforms like grow or funds india available on the internet where you can register within few minutes and start investing in the mutual funds time horizon of investment generally the investment for horizon for the mutual fund is long term that is 8 to 10 years here you are not trading funds but investing for the long term to make money by capital appreciation or regular income through dividend funds on the contrary if you invest in the stocks you can either invest for long term or short term you can even keep a stock for let's say one week and make good returns there are also people who do do intraday trading that is which means that you buy the stock on same day and sell 
before the end of the trading period. Finally, 11th point is the control on investment. If you are investing directly in the stock markets, you will have a lot of power and control. Here you can make critical decisions like when to buy, when to sell, what to buy, etc. On the other hand, while investing in the mutual funds, you do not have much control over your investments. It's your fund manager who will make decisions like which securities to buy, which one to sell, when to buy, when to sell, etc. The highest control that you have is to find the best mutual fund. However, once you have invested in that mutual fund, you don't have to you do not need to do much thing. Everything will be taken care of by the fund manager. Further, the fund performance also depends on the efficiency of the fund manager. If the fund manager is efficient, then you can get good returns. If the fund manager is not that good, then you might get fewer returns. In addition, there is always a possibility that the fund manager may quit and join some other fund house. Overall, here you have to be dependent on the fund manager. However, while investing in the stock market, there is no dependency on anyone and you can make your own independent decisions to buy or sell whichever stock you want. So let's quickly conclude what we learned in this video. First, no investment is risk free. There will be always some risk involved when you invest in the market. Nevertheless, investing in the mutual fund is completely risk riskier than that of stock market. This is because a fund manager manages your fund here. However, the returns are also layer lower compared to this the stock market. Now, if you are a novice and new to the stock market, it would be solitary if you start investing with the mutual fund. For investing directly in the stock market, you will require a good knowledge and at least a good passion for learning. However, if you have limited time, limited money and not enough passion to invest your money on your own, then you should invest in the mutual funds. That's all for this video. I hope it was useful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting investing videos. This is Kritesh signing off.